Hello, my name is Mr. Hagen. I'm the director of bands here at Western Canada High School. Today we're going to be answering some frequently asked questions about our program here. Question one. Do you need to have experience to join Western's band program? Well, you don't need a ton of experience. You do need some experience uh, before entering into the grade 10 band program here at Western. What we ask for is that students have at least one year on their instrument uh, throughout their three years of junior high. If not that, um, having experience uh, through private lessons or private study is also um, a good substitute for that. Question two, what will band IB be like in 2023, 2024? So band IB is something new that we're launching going into next school year as a way to essentially help uh, complement the IB program we have uh, that Western Canada High School is well known for. And so what that means is that if you're in full IB or partial IB, it becomes really easy for you to integrate band into your, into your programming, into your course enrollment. How many students are in the band program at Western? Well, depending on the year, we fluctuate anywhere between uh, 275 and 300 students across the three grades. What's really important to know about that is that um, our ensembles, our large performing ensembles are all grade based. So we have a grade 10 concert band, grade 11 symphonic band and a grade 12 wind ensemble. Uh, and students move together for all three years of their time here. Are there any trips or tours planned for next year? We are really excited to be kind of starting back up with that again. We have actually been engaging in lots of trips this year with band camps and festivals outside the city and things like that. So we've done some overnight trips this school year, which has been really great to get back to after not having been able to do that because of uh, pandemic over the last couple of years. And so we're excited to be headed to California next year. And of course, workshop and perform at Disney. So lots of really cool, uh, exciting opportunities that come as part of um, being in the band program and uh, touring is a really valued student component of what we do and uh, we're excited to be getting back to the full version of that. Why should an incoming grade 10 student join band? Um, beyond the fact that it's the best decision you can make, it's one of the few places, not just in high school, but in your young adult life where you're going to just be welcomed in and um, taught what it means to be a part of a community that cares about each other while striving to be um, really great as an ensemble and a team of collaborative peers. Is it possible to join band in grade 11 or 12? It is possible to join band in grade 11 or 12 if you are coming from somewhere else um, that isn't our school and you've taken band in grade 10, for example, then absolutely you can come in in grade 11 or 12. Or if you study privately for a large number of years and you come into Western from a different place, absolutely you can. But if you come into Western in grade 10 and you're here and then you think I'll do it in grade 11 or 12, it doesn't really work that way. I have experience with piano and strings. Can I still join band? Yes, you absolutely can join band. Um, first thing is sort of first, if you're a string player, there's a number of different things that you can um, apply your knowledge and skill to. Often string players have advanced level of reading and, and musicianship on their instrument. Um, double basses are the one string instruments that are uh, a part of the typical orchestration for band. Um, and so we have a lot of students who really transfer to that easily. And cellists, violists, violinists often find their way over to the double bass. And legitimately 50 to 70% of each one of those groups, um, when they started in grade 10, of our percussionists, I should say, 50 to 70% of our percussionists in each group, started out not as percussionists. They knew nothing about percussion, but happened to be skilled pianists or skilled string players, which gives you, like, if you have that background coming in, we can teach you everything you need to know about percussion or double bass. All right, last but not least. Where can I find more information about the Western Band Program? There's tons of information out there um, and it's all been very carefully put together to make sure it's clear and so that you can find it easily. But uh, ultimately there's a few places you could find that. Uh, the first would be on our school website. If you go to the teaching and learning section, you look under the fine arts band section of the school website, you will see a really clear detailed breakdown of the courses we offer. Um, along with a number of media links that will take you to like our, our YouTube page and ultimately link you to our Instagram page as well. So um, that's the primary source of information, the first place to go. Um, we also have a public Instagram that you should check out, um, which will absolutely give you tons of insight into what the student perspective in life looks like. And I really encourage you to do that. 
um, because it gives you the true version of what they, per, you know, what they perceive it to be, and I think that's really valuable. And then we also have um, like a YouTube channel, which is uh, equally valuable, where we have some past concerts. Um, we have a variety of different uh, promotional profile videos there, uh, and so a lot of different ways you can check out what our program is about at Western. And if all else fails, you are welcome to contact me anytime. My contact information is on our school website as well. Um, if you have any questions about getting involved in our program here, and I hope you'll make the right choice and, and join us here at Western when, uh, when the time comes for you to be a student here. So this was Mr. Hagen telling you about the Western Band program. I'm out.